Hey guys, hope everyone is doing great. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So we are back with the last video in my full stash series. I started this almost a year ago now. We are at the end of the road. 10 videos over the past 10 months and we are ending our full stash series with straight hair products. So these products, 99% of them have silicones. These are the things that I've reached for for heat protection, shine, strength, detangling, softness. They have a big role to play in keeping my hair happy and healthy when I'm doing that process. I used to keep these in mind just for those moments when I was going to be straightening my hair, but I had a bit of an epiphany last year, if you guys remember, where I'm going to be playing around with silicones, especially when it comes to detangling. So we're going to start in wash day order for this one. First off with pre-poos that I would also use on my curls now. The first that I have here is the Tresemme Botanique Damage Recovery with Macadamia Oil and Wheat Protein. This is another one that I got during that amazing random cleared sale at Bed Bath & Beyond, and I have not seen this product since then. But I was very excited about this one because it has silicones to help give my hair some nice protection in the lead up to flat ironing as well as that wheat protein to give me a little bit of much needed strength when I'm going to be going through that process as well. So I am very much looking forward to using this. I want to save it for when I straighten my hair even though now I would definitely pull it out for detangling on curls too. Also from Tresemme is the Botanique Curl Hydration with Shea Butter and Hibiscus Oil. This one also has silicone and the hibiscus is pretty high up on the list. It shows up more than halfway in the ingredients which is not something you always see with drugstore products. So since this one is specifically for curl hydration, I think I would would actually put this in the pre-poo category for curly hair instead because I am very curious about this. I love that it's got the hibiscus which I already know my hair responds really well to. The shea butter also long time heavy favorite for me and the silicone will also be good for those days when my hair needs a little extra help which is really every day when it comes to detangling at all. I need all the help I can get. So this one is going to come out to play sooner rather than later now that it's finally finally starting to really get a little bit warm here. I'm actually filming this on the day of the eclipse. Now this one I'm just excited to use use up because I've had it in my stash for quite a while and I'm sure that we've talked about this brand at some point over the course of this series. This is Deity of Hair. This is their plant conditioner for hair loss. Got this in a PR package a very very long time ago and the instructions I don't think were included in English for me to be able to decipher but I know that in my message board days a lot of people love this stuff. I think it's right around here. So somehow some way I must have used this but I cannot remember anything about it so I kind of want to use some of my curls instead of my straight hair because I like to go in with my straight hair products knowing kind of sort of what's in there what to expect and with this one I it's it's gonna be a surprise to me so I think I'm gonna also put this one along with that Tresemme to just use on curly hair now this one was my revelation product this plus the kind of deep conditioner mask that comes in a tube which I hope is still being made by the same company because those two together were just like ridiculously ridiculous ridiculously detangling on my hair to the point where it gave me that like mermaid seaweedy my hand is doing this type of vibe effortlessly from root to tip type of thing my hair was the most detangled it had been since the last time that I straightened my hair like over two years ago at that point but this is a Joyco moisture recovery moisturizing conditioner for thick coarse dry hair someone gave this to me last year in a bundle of products that they were no longer using and I fell in love with it this stuff is really good prep for getting my hair like super super detangled I I like to really go in but I like to call a hard detangle not because it's damaging on my hair but because I'm trying to get every last shed hair every little tangle in my hair before straightening it so that I can get the best result so this product delivered on the slip it was amazing and just like the name entails moisture recovery my hair felt incredibly incredibly hydrated so the slip plus the moisture I was like yeah we're gonna need to get to know each other a little bit better when I go back curly so since we all know that my last straight hair adventure was a total and complete fail I I'm going to be returning to this one sooner rather than later as well. I cannot wait to use this because it smells so chemically. Part of me wants to use this when I straighten my hair, but part of me is like, is that scent going to linger? Because I don't want to smell that for the next two months that I keep my hair straight. This is the limited edition sparkling cider conditioner from OGX. I got this because I love apple cider. It was around the holidays. I was like, oh, that'll be fun to detangle with until I smelled it, y'all. This, oh my gosh. So it just smells like... I don't know man like you know this was like created in a lab hardcore like with some cheap cheap stuff it does not smell good so I don't know about this one I'm on the fence straight hair use it up detangle but I might get that weird like motor oil vibe that it's got going on or if I use it on my curly hair I might oh god no y'all there's a bee y'all there's a bee 
So I was off by an hour. The eclipse was actually happening like right when I was filming. So John called me, which I'm so glad he did. The lone shampoo that I have in this video. This is the Shades, Colors, and Coils Mango and Peach Hydrating Shampoo. I don't think this brand is around anymore, but this is infused with coconut, jojoba, and avocado oil. This is actually a shampoo that has silicone as well. It confused the crap out of me the first time I used it. It was so slippery. I was able to finger detangle and I was like, what is going on right now? This is weird. But I realized that it's because it has a silicone in there. So that was what was giving me that amazing slip that I was not expecting from a shampoo. But this is great to get the party started along with my pre-poo as far as silicone, slip. When it comes to straightening my hair and heat protection, I like to layer on products through each step of my wash day that has silicone to kind of build upon those layers of protection. On to deep conditioning. We've got the Revere Extreme Hydration Hydrate, Replenish, Nourish, and Detangle Deep Conditioning Treatment. I used this the first time that I used my Revere back when I did my demo video a couple of months ago. And this was super, super slip. The Revere I felt really helped to lay my cuticle down and I think using this beforehand, especially since I wasn't going to be putting a lot of products on my hair while using the device, this gave me a really nice base of protection, softness, smoothness. These two I've never tried but another product from the same line has been my HD straight hair deep conditioner for years and I just used it up the last time that I straightened my hair and it was the TGIN honey deep conditioner like one of the OG ones and that stuff smells so good. It again gave my hair that like mermaidy, seaweedy, super super slippery a dream to detangle type of feeling that I am just always chasing. So I'm definitely planning on purchasing that in the future, but I am curious about these also from TGIN. This is the Miracle Repair Curl Protein Reconstructor with Black Honey and Biotin. I've heard really good things about this line from TGIN. So depending on how my hair feels at the time that I straighten it again, I don't know if I'm going to be using this protein reconstructor because I usually use my Apogee 2 Minute Reconstructor the day that I straighten my hair, do my whole wash day to give me maximum heat protection. So I might do a little trial run beforehand and try this on my curly hair and see what we're working with in terms of how much strength this gives me because in addition to this protein reconstructor they also have from the same line the miracle repair deep hydrating hair mask this one has black honey and coconut oil so this one I think is definitely gonna be more targeted toward moisture both of them have silicones which is definitely what I look for when it comes to straightening my hair to give me again added protection from that heat damage added smoothness for my flat iron so I might do a little head-to-head -head of these two to see how they compare and maybe do a video about it. From Bikira Beauty is the Leche de Babasu hair conditioner drench and I purchased this one year from Hatache and I didn't realize until after the fact that it had silicones so I decided to put it with my straight hair products and the ingredients are awesome. I definitely would try this on my curly hair now since I'm a lot more open to dipping my toes into silicones. Super super creamy and smooth. I think this is going to make my hair feel amazing. This is the Chi Infra Treatment Thermal Protective Treatment. I've had this in my stash for quite some time but because I love my Apogee so much I never really stray away from it when it comes to using it as my mega protein treatment for straightening. The plan is to pre-poo my hair, detangle, shampoo, add this, rinse it out, then deep condition and kind of use it in place of my aphigy maybe depending on how strengthening this really is. It has a lot of different forms of amino acids and proteins. I'm moving on to my leave-in conditioners. Now when it comes to straightening my hair, I don't like to add a lot of creamy products. I try to give my hair a good infusion of moisture, but at the same time, I don't want to coat it. I don't want to give it that dull feeling. I'm not one of those people that can put nothing but heat protectant on my hair. I need to give it a little bit of a leave-in, a little bit of a little creamy vibe because I just find that it helps to really soften a lot better than anything else I've tried so far. So I'll use a small, small amount on each section. I tend to gear towards things that specifically mention being able to hydrate your hair but not weigh it down while also being tailored for the heat styling process. This is the She Sent It Marula Mallow Leave-In Styler. It's a moisturizing and softening cream for dry damaged hair with marula oil and cocoa butter. And I've used this the past three or so times that I've straightened my hair and I absolutely love it. It gives me that nice bit of softness and hydration that I'm looking for. It's a very lightweight cream so it's not going to weigh my hair down and because I keep my hair straight for such a long time I think the longest I've ever been able to go is close to three months which is amazing. So I still want to make sure I'm giving my hair a good amount of moisture along with the strength when I am prepping my hair for straightening. It gives me just the right amount of moisture to where again it's not taking me too far over the edge and making my curls like super juicy which is not really what I'm looking for when I'm straightening but it does give me some nice hydration that I can springboard from. Now these four don't have silicones but I love them so much. Pretty much the same with the She Scent It. They give me a light amount of moisture. They smooth the cuticle and soften things enough for me to not have a bunch of friction when it comes to blow drying my hair. So really looking forward again to using the Revere and seeing how things go with that in comparison. But also when it comes to flat ironing that extra moisture helps things not to be catching 
the one that I reach for most often is discontinued of course this is my last tube of it I just finished the other one last time I tried to straighten my hair I'm pretty sure this is from their Tahitian Noni and Manoi line the smooth and repair blowout cream it's got keratin peptides and botanical extracts so although this one doesn't have silicones it does have a lot of strengthening ingredients to help to smooth the cuticle as well as offer their own form of protection as well I've used it on my curls for dry hair I use it as the leave-in conditioner when I'm staying curly and it's really versatile but I try to really just keep it for the straight hair category another product from Shea Moisture that I use a very similar way but I happen to enjoy the other one a lot more is the Argan Oil and Almond Milk Smooth and Tame Blowout Cream this one has marshmallow root extract as well as Shamoya it's supposed to be able to improve styling control it's supposed to help blow dry your hair quicker and it's made specifically for fine frizzy straight and wavy hair the only one I can really relate to in that descriptor is the frizziness and I think that's why I prefer the other one it's a little bit heavier and I feel that it's just better for me when it comes to blow drying this is a very softening product another that I've also used in my curly hair and really like the results so I'm gonna be doing a challenge very soon where this might actually come in handy so it might be the last time you guys see me talk about this when it comes to straight hair so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put this with my curly goodies I've never tried this one before but I'm glad that I have it because I have a good feeling this is the Shea Moisture Zanzibar Marine Complex age defy and color protect heat shield cream y'all these names from Shea Moisture y'all know when they used to put a whole paragraph just for the name of the product it's got black pearl protein and sea buckthorn oil but this sounds like it's going to be the closest thing to the Tahitian Noni and Manoi that I use I love the fact that again it has heat protection right in the name here so I think they're going to perform very very similar and this is another I've never tried before I was so excited to try it this is also from Shea Moisture the sugarcane extract and meadow foam seed silicone free miracle styler leave-in treatment with marshmallow root this one I just feel is like it's going to be too light for my hair but again maybe I'll be surprised unlike my blow dryer which just sucks the life out of my hair when it's time for me to straighten the Revere left my hair feeling a lot more hydrated and so much softer and smoother that maybe I can get away with using something like this that's a lot more lightweight than my creams that I usually go for when it's time to straighten my hair because my hair will be fighting for its life with the blow dryer which will be really really nice maybe I will give this one a little try this is a brand that I'm pretty sure is no longer around this is hey naturals I found out about them on Instagram and I ordered a ton of different stuff from them on Black Friday this is their liquid suede leave-in conditioner does that sound nice liquid suede kind of similar to the Shea Moisture this is a liquidy product although this one unlike the Shea Moisture does have silicone in it so this might be another one to prep my hair without weighing it down and giving me that added protection that I look for with the silicone so because I'm gonna be switching up my straightening routine so much by introducing the Revere this time instead of using my blow dryer again I might be able to be okay with these more spray type of products and another product from Hey Naturals is a silky suede hair cream this creamier product might be a good option for giving me a bit more moisture while also relying on the added protection of the silicones that are in there after I've added whatever leave-in conditioner that I'm gonna be using before moving on to blow drying I'll use a specific heat protectant this has been my most used heat protectant over the years and I've gone through several different bottles this is the Tresemme heat tamer it's a leave-in spray that works well with heat appliances and it says it gives you heat protection up to 450 degrees and I usually push my flat iron to maybe 425 ish 430 my hair does not like to be straight it's very resistant so I usually have to kind of crank up the heat but again I'm hoping that the Revere will get my hair a bit smoother so that maybe I don't have to use as much heat as usual but needless to say all these different products again the building blocks of all those layers of silicone really come into play with how much heat that I put on my hair so I'll spray this on my hair before I'm blow drying and then I'll spray a little bit more after I blow dried before doing the flat iron but I've stopped doing that as much because this has a good amount of water and glycerin in there and I feel that that almost reactivates my curls so what I've been doing the past couple of times that I use this is I will use it on my hair before I blow dry and I will not use it again afterwards before flat ironing I was noticing I would spray this on my hair and my hair would start to expand and get poofy again and that defeats the whole purpose and I highly recommend you guys checking out my butters and oils video because after I'm finished actually blow drying and flat ironing my hair I don't put any more silicone products on it after that to maintain smooth and detangle my hair I heavily heavily rely on oils butters and pomades they come in clutch for me although my hair isn't getting any moisture the oils and butters do give me some really nice nutrients and smoothing and softness that I desperately need during the that period so I'll make sure to put a link to that video somewhere up in here as well as in the description box because oils and butters are a huge huge part of my straight hair maintenance routine I do have two products here that are more so in the after category that I'll save for the very last before I put on my flat iron I'll also add like a silicone serum again to help to give an extra layer of protection smoothness helping that flat iron to glide and not catch on my hair and also really pump up the shine so one of my favorites is the OGX orchid oil this is supposed to be really good for color 
protection it helps to block out those UVA and UVB rays this stuff smells amazing it's kind of like a liquidy type of product but it doesn't have any water in there the first ingredient is actually one of the Zane silicones like one of the most hard water is not penetrating this bad boy type of silicones which I really love so this stuff gives me a really nice amount of protection right before that flat iron goes on my hair so if you're someone who's looking for a nice silicone product but you don't want something that's like super super gonna weigh your hair down I highly recommend this on the other hand though I do like a nice super thick heavy silicone serum this is the one that I have right now but this very similar product that I like even more is made specifically for coarse hair which is what I have it's a touch heavier than this even though this one is still pretty heavy but this is the only one that i have on hand right now but i will definitely repurchase the one for coarse hair in the future just because i really need that extra like thick coating of silicone on my hair right before going in to flat ironing. I usually use this first to get things going and then right beforehand I'll add a teeny tiny amount to each section just to give me a little bit extra protection again, a little bit of extra smoothing. This is also from OGX, the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Penetrating Oil for all hair types. Again, they do make a coarse hair version. And the last few products that I have here that I would not use before flat ironing because they don't have any silicone for protection, they're just straight up oil and I don't want to kind of like cook just oil into my hair when it comes to flat ironing I would definitely use these for the aftercare the maintenance of my straight hair after we're all done with the heat tools these could have definitely gone into the oils and butters category but I could not find them at the time because they have been hiding with the straight hair products but the first one that we have here is from curls this is from the cashmere and caviar line their hair serum this is just a really nice thick oil that really helps to smooth and detangle my straight hair very very well I don't like this one on my curly hair which is why it just hangs out with the straight hair stuff I think this line has been discontinued from curls so I would enjoy this little bottle while I have have it and this is just a nice little shine serum from Shea Moisture this is the Yucca and Plantain anti-breakage frizz free shine mist this one doesn't have any water any glycerin it's just straight up oils a few other ingredients so it's really nice to just give my hair some really quick hits of shine while it's straight and that is a wrap on the full stash series I'm so happy that I did the big old giant five hour all-in-one video as well as this series because I remember when I did the poll a very long time ago most people wanted the big old giant huge video but if few people did like the idea of breaking it down into categories and doing a series so now that I've done both of those things I feel a sense of completeness that I like so so much so maybe we will revisit this series in some type of form in like 10 years <laughs> and see where my stash is at that point so I really hope you guys enjoyed this series it's been really fun to make and has reintroduced me to some products that I had forgotten about in my stash let me know about some things I might want to check on that I might throw out and revisit and discover things that my hair has been loving currently which is has been really really fun so if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up it really really helps it I can't wait to move but there's people doing that everywhere unless I live on a mountain somewhere all the interactions with this video go a long way in helping YouTube to promote it and send it out into the algorithm whether that's liking it sharing leaving a comment likewise if you haven't subscribed already please do so as well I would love to have you as I mentioned we are doing another hair challenge in May and I'm currently doing one in April that is all about moisture moisture and more moisture so my hair's already been really enjoying that and we are just still at the beginning part of April so can't wait to see where we are at at the end and remember that upload videos every Friday with some short form content in the meantime in between time and I will see you very soon in the next one take care guys bye